I knew that he was an eccentric, but uh, I didn't know in which direction that manifested itself. I think the rewarding part of it was that I finally met somebody who considered the medium and the undertaking as important as I did. And uh, only he suffered it. I rather gird myself against suffering, <laughs> insulate myself against suffering. But David suffers, and I suffered along with him. I think that he's rather shy in the revelation of his own feeling. He is a shy man, you know. For a journeyman actor who does it, the uh, office of the director is to remind him what he's left out. He will. He won't permit you to leave anything out. I mean, if you have anything that you've overlooked or that, you've, uh, that you don't exploit yourself, and you, it was the sort of part that cannot be assumed. It's not a star part. It's not. There are no stars in a David Lean film, and uh, it's. I found it refreshing, different, but refreshing not to be able to just walk through a picture as a movie star. And uh, I consider it a very valuable experience. I think it's an experience that everyone should have, working with a dedicated, good, hard-working, interested director. The best, really. The thing that encouraged me was that uh, I found myself working with uh, the legend, with the great director, and uh, we were in total accord. You know, I find my whole sense was it's about time. And, you know, he's the man I'd been looking for all my life. Before I had gone to work with uh, David, I had, I had had it. I was fed up working as an actor. But uh, it will probably mean my uh, sort of professional demise because I, I'm only concerned with doing masterpieces. I think this is the best film David's ever made.